This week on Archer's Choice. Sooner or later, one's gonna come, I promise you. I'll just hope tonight's it. It's getting down to the line, and we only have a few days left. Oh, baby. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This is Week three now of Illinois Deer Camp. Yep. Yes. With Dean, with everybody, yes. with all yep. of us. And you know, we, we just wanted to sh truly try to capture what, what goes on. You yes. know, mm -hmm. we got three weeks in Illinois and we had a blast all three weeks. RJ's are up this week, yes. you know what yes. I mean? RJ squared. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. RJ squared. Yes. And, and you know, I mean, the reality of it is, is the rut's kicking in yep. more and mm -hmm. more. You, you know what I mean? We actually, we actually know that the breeding was they, they were breeding they were already. going on at yep. this point yep yeah. so it was a matter of okay being in the right place at the right time and using all of the tools to help us get in that position yes so should we get going let's, let's hit just, it let's just get going let's go literally yes. hit it literally literally don't miss it no oh. don't miss it oh well let's see last night we were all going to sit down and Converse. But we didn't. And we didn't, because no. why? So I shot a buck last night. Woo! Woo! Yep. And we knew the shot was a hair back. Like, liver shot us what it looked like, and decided, you know what, we ate dinner, and we went back out, and he really didn't go very far. No, we he got actually... pretty quickly, but because we gave him two hours, we got back here a little bit later, and we were all tired, and decided not to film it. That's what happens. He probably died about less than 60 yards from the stand. Yeah, he just went Because he, he ran and made a U, yep. on D, right? Yep. And then he, 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 like he was come, trying to get back to where how he came. Yep. But you'd rattle him in, he'd come yep. running run right in. Yep. And it was pretty cool. It was awesome. And I had you behind the camera for me, and then all you guys helped me go and find him, and we got him back pretty quickly. And actually today, we actually already got him all cut up. Yeah, and we cut him up and everything. So that was quick. And, uh, and then this morning, Yep. You, the RJs yes. went out because you didn't. we're tagged and they're you didn't not. You didn't see anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're um, you're like batting. Zero. Like <laughs> zero, zero. You haven't even drawn your bow back yet, have you? I did just to practice. Oh, did you? Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, at least, yeah, so we're, least, we're you, going, yeah. Yeah, at least you put some tension on the string. Yeah, there was a squirrel around. I was like, ah, uh, Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, well, we, we got, got to decide what you guys got to do tomorrow. We've got south, southwest winds. I'm gonna go out with you tomorrow, yes. if that's all right. Absolutely. Father and son. Yes. You just can't judge the hunting styles. Oh. Yes, he told you. Look at him getting all big and puffed chest there. Oh my gosh. Oh. What are you trying to do? <laughs> You're strutting like a gobbler. <laughs> <laughs> You're still a Jake, buddy. <laughs> Because we got to judge it by the beard. You're still a Jake. That's my chest. Oh, my God. Okay, so back to what our strategy is. Well, I think, we'll, we, again, we'll wake up in the morning. Oh, I sometimes so. the weathermen yeah. haven't been that accurate. Yeah. But it's yeah. showing south-southwest. And it was warm today, so it's probably going to be south we, we, it's gonna be warm. Yeah, it's going to be warm. Yeah. But I think for the evening, because like tonight when we drove around, we did see a lot of activity. Yep. I think tomorrow, you and I are going to go up here. We'll bring the rattling horns. We just right had this morning. Nope. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yep. Um, and uh, in number two, old I think I'd like to rattle for you. I think it'd be fun. All right. Okay. I may not get anything on camera, but uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rattle for my But, but you're gonna shoot a deer and it won't be on film, but he was the one doing it, so it's okay. Yeah, so fire, I'll fire myself. Yes. Wait, I'll tell you what, I quit now, okay? Um, we should check chips tomorrow. That's a couple days soak time on all the cameras. Like you guys did the other day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. tomorrow I'll take another one. And then, Muddy's up. we'll be heading home though in a couple days. Yep. We gotta get back, because Nami's not feeling well, so we need to get home. 
and to be real with the story is, you know, Nani, my mom, is uh, her cancer came back. We got her on chemo, and uh, it her ain't stomach's good. bad, it ain't and good. she's not eating a bunch, and we're getting some messages, and we need to head home. So, so one of the hunts we look most forward to, you know, this coming back to Dean's and spending three weeks, but we're not going to be able to spend the three weeks, but. If you'll have us, we'll be back next year for sure. Well, you guys well we'll be back in the spring. We might be back in the winter. <coughs> yeah, you're stuck now. They're going to keep coming back. But, uh, yeah. So you guys have them tomorrow, and then we're heading out the next day in the morning. So just get it done tomorrow and be done. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Do you rattle a buck in? It doesn't really matter. Besides, you know this. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> You know, as you know, we ain't about trophy hunting. We're, we're just about family hunting, and that's what this is. It's a family, and, and every year we look forward to all getting together and, and just sharing it. It's not about inches. It's not about age. It's about memories. It's about family. It's about sharing this with the ones you love and cherish. And I think if we would do, I truly believe, if we would get back to deer camps like this, We've got to put the smiles back on people's faces. We got to make give get them more bloody arrows, <laughs> right? And right here yeah. is where it needs to be. Yeah. We're back to deer camp. You know, mm -hmm. we're here to make deer camp fun again. Yep. There were definitely a few days there where Eddie and I were up in the tree, and it was extremely cold, especially when we sat by right next to the river. And there were days where we just saw nothing. There were days where we seen a little guy come through or we, Eddie seen a buck that I hadn't seen. But that's deer camp. I mean, you sit up in a tree, you try to find the animals, you try to work with the animals. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But either way, being out there and seeing the game is awesome. It's getting down to the line and we only have a few days left. We get up into a tree where we know there's some good bucks. We've seen them coming through there. We know that there's one in there that RJ had seen and unfortunately missed. Well, it's been crazy windy all day. The wind's been howling. Hopefully it's gonna settle down here soon. I got a few hours left in the stand. Our goal is that the wind settles down and we can start rattling and everything else. So we can really maximize our uh, hearing distance on the rattling because I know RJ was sitting I'm guessing we're going to add it down the hill from them. So hopefully, hopefully this wind calms down just a little bit and uh, work our magic. So the buck came from the left side of this hedgerow, starts making his way in, and sure enough, he goes right into the hedgerow. We don't really know where he went. We can't see him when he, as soon as he entered it. So my dad's like, okay, you should use a grunt. So I grunt. <laughs> And sure enough, when I grunted, we had another little buck to our bottom right. The other guy came back out of the hedgerow, almost going towards the other buck. And the other buck kind of wanders back off as he comes along almost the same route that he was on. And sure enough, he came right into my kill zone. And I mean, I pinned him. It was a hair back. It was a hair back. Still like cooling down for right now. I'm actually sweating. It's starting to cool down outside. We just took all of our extra stuff off, so we're not sweating too bad. I threw my harness in there, and everything else. We're just gonna go creep around here, look at the blood, see if we can find my arrow just right here. I'm not sure if we're gonna go look for it yet, just because I ended up hitting the hair back, unfortunately. 
but from what I could see in the stand, it looked like there was a pretty good amount of blood. <laughs> he did it. He did it. It was amazing. I was filming, and I gotta tell you something. I was shaking more. I, I, I was. I don't know if you were shaking more than me. That's pretty debatable. <laughs> Holy crap. This entire tree was going. <laughs> Dean. Dean. Yes, Dean, thank you. Thank you, much. brother. You just made a, an old guy's dream come true. <laughs> thank you for sitting out with me. Yeah, brother. I appreciate it, sir. <laughs> if it was as big a blood spot that I could see in the binos, it shouldn't be a problem to find where I hit him. He's just pumping out the blood. Well, we just walked out, we checked my blood trail, and we definitely can tell that I hit it all the back, but they I'm shooting kill zones, so I have a huge cutting diameter just under three inches, I think. So hopefully, it's gonna do its job in there and just cut everything. So hopefully, he's running down this, just it's right down this little, uh, ravine down there and he has there's a good blood trail so we're gonna stay here for a little bit we weren't sure at first just because on the camera it seemed like i hit him a little bit off my dad being over my right shoulder so we let him sit i was extremely nervous we had a very good blood trail just from right there alone but we let him sit we went back to the camp we got everybody else and we all went back out as a family going back out there with everybody is one of my favorite things because you get to share the experience whether it's your animal or somebody else's animal, you get to share the excitement and joyfulness when you do find your animal. It just makes that bond with everybody so much tighter. So we pull back up, everybody's in the buggies, we got our lights and we start tracking. After really not too far, the blood is still a pretty good trail. It's on and off a little bit, but we, we stay on it. And sure enough, my buck went down into this ravine, followed it for a little bit, came back up and actually went right back into the cornfield and went down right there. There he is! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow. baby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> baby. He didn't go very far at all. He didn't go far at all, bud. Oh. Nice. And he's been dead. Yeah. And the cows didn't get him, thankfully. Look where he died. Wow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll forget that there. <laughs> oh man, RJ. Look, Look at, at him. That deer. Oh. Oh. Well, this is definitely. That's definitely your biggest. The biggest buck I ever shot. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, Mama. That's awesome. Oh, Look at that. Hey, thank you, sir. Thank you. Wow. Oh, Mr. Dean, guys, thank oh, you guys you all. Bet. You bet. Look at him. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> That's buddy. so cool. Look at that deer. What a beautiful deer. Look at the main wow. frame. Oh my gosh, you spanked mom it. and I bad. <laughs> you think? Oh my gosh. Wow. Hey, yeah, hit him here back. <laughs> Thank you for having me, sir. Hey, buddy. I appreciate it. It was my honor and privilege. I waited my whole life to hunt something like that with my son. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Everything. I appreciate it. Works. Very much so. There you go. It was really special to me to be able to share these moments with my dad because he's the one that taught me pretty much everything I know about the outdoors. I wouldn't be anywhere near what I am today without him. And it means the world to me to be able to be in a tree stand and get my biggest buck with him right next to me. So thank you, dad. Today, it's like Groundhog Day, this deer camp. Uh, November 9th, the afternoon, me and Ed, you're gonna go back to where we just sat the last 
day. Last night we were in there, we seen three different bucks. This morning, we heard it, seen a buck in the dark too late. We've had a buck in daylight. So we're gonna go back, the wind is still pushing north, northeast, so tonight should be a good night. We're doing an interview now because we're a little ways away from the stand. Get a walk to it, so that way we get in fairly quiet. See what happens. Sooner or later, one's gonna come, I promise you. Let's hope tonight's it. Big RJ is making his way to the stand for tonight's hunt. He has been grinding and is the only one in the group left to tag out. He just went down right over there. Gosh, just give me a second. I see my arrow is painted red right there in the field. I'm telling you, I was just ready to give up. I'm like, man, I'm just so frustrated. Like, I just can't seem to get it done. Every buck we see in the last two days crosses, crosses, crosses. And finally, I just had to look up, and here he's just walking on a rope. Oh, it's good. I'm happy. We couldn't see it. It didn't go in the woods too far, and we heard it crashing big time. We heard it go down. So let's go see what we can find. This was the trail we've seen all these deer on all the last couple of days. And I see a white belly right there. Man, he is in here. Like I said, I'm extremely happy. I haven't killed a deer in Illinois in years. And uh, watch what we can do to this property in the next few years. And this is pretty cool because we all tagged out in deer camp. I was the first one here and I'm the last one to leave and I finally got it done. So, couldn't be more happier. Thank you, Deaner. Great piece of property you got, Dean. Congratulations, buddy. RJ squared, I'm, done. You guys I'm are tagged out. Well, it was so RJ cool, too. big RJ. But, but here's the cool thing. The dad, me, was in the stand with this big galoop. We're, fil we're hunting, that we were hunting, hoping that that buck yeah. did the same thing he did a few days earlier. And that's exactly what he did. And he did. Yes. Well, that's take, what deer camp all about. Oh, yeah. In the trees, what was really cool, family. you got it, buddy. What was really cool is he went into those cedars and pines. Mm -hmm. You grunted him yes. because if you remember the last encounter, he went straight through there. Yeah. So you turned him, turned or, him that around, or the other buck. The other buck got him yeah. going. I'm proud yes. of you, man. It was it was awesome for me to share it with him. And this is what it's about. And I wish I could have been a fly on that tree or oh, an extra no. camera <laughs> filming the two of them because I'm sure that after the shot and during the whole encounter, 
that that tree was just Thank God shaking. for hunter safety no system. No doubt. We it was pretty hope... windy, too, but uh, I don't think that really affected I'm No, sure it, it wasn't. Was was I don't think that was at all. Hardly at all. No. no we I hope you really good. enjoyed what we tried to show you. We wanted to show you the true reality of a deer camp. We weren't worried about age. We weren't worried about anything. We were worried about having a good time. If we were going to manage anything, we're going to manage our children to enjoy the outdoors and get them involved and get them to understand being stewards of the land. But listen, Hopefully, next year's gonna be the same thing, absolutely. right? Well, I hope so. Yes, absolutely. I hope so. Hey, we ho do hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.